Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about two oud fragrances by the house of Tom Ford. These two fragrances, um, one of them is no longer being manufactured. It's supposed to be going into the signature line according to rumors in the fragrance community. And the other one is a staple of the house. It's clearly one that everyone knows by the house of Tom Ford. And the two that we are talking about today are Tobacco Oud and Oud Wood. So we're going to compare these two and just see what type of, you know, similarities they have. They're both oud fragrances, so the main ingredient in these is going to be oud. But they're also very different. Uh, they're brothers, but from another mother, if that makes any sense, you know. So they have the same heritage, but very different ways and routes that they went into, for sure. So the first one we're going to go into is into the classic one. This is oud wood. This is the packaging for it. I'm sure everyone has seen it. And you pull up the box up and you reveal your fragrance. So the bottles for Oud Wood are a little bit different to the other fragrances from the Private Blend line. They are a grayish, brownish type of like charcoal color. Uh, they are transparent and you can see through them. Not so much in the uh, Private Blend ones. You can see through the Private Blend ones. They're uh, dark brown ones, but you cannot really look in there unless you put it up to a light so yeah so this is oud wood this came out in 2007 and it was one of the ones that are or the fragrance that revolutionized oud in western brands uh before that you know oud has always been very popular in the middle east it's been a scent that's been used in religious uh ceremonies and as well as you know just a day-to-day -day life um but this scent itself you know, really changed the industry. In 2007, when this launched part of the original Private Blend line, it really, really changed a lot. And when this came out, a lot of brands, you know, were like, we need to come out with a new fragrance, like they all noticed. So then you had in 2013, you know, a few years later, 2010s, 2009s, all these brands like boom, 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 throwing out all the oud fragrances. And nowadays, we kind of have it dying down a little bit more. So so this scent is quite unique. It has been tried to get recreated multiple times, but you know, uh, you really can't hit the nail on the bullet or however you say it. <laughs> uh, so it, it is it is absolutely a gorgeous scent. It is a soft, ambery oud. Um, it's creamy, it's earthy. It is just, you know, it's magnificent. I don't think that there's a better oud fragrance on the market than this. And the reason I say that's because other oud fragrances, like uh, one of my other favorite ones is Oud Espahan by Dior, and that fragrance is absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely amazing. The only problem that it does have is that when you spray it, you kind of think, oh, I have to be in a much more formal setting. And with this fragrance here, you can wear it, you know, with a t-shirt and some jeans, or you can dress it up and, you know, it just smells like it fits any occasion, which is absolutely great. I mean, I... Ugh. So the notes on this are going to be oud, rosewood, cardamom, sandalwood, spices, amber, and Sichuan pepper. So you know, when you watch the campaign for this, I think Tom Ford has done an amazing job with you know marketing these fragrances with his sexy, seductive voice. Oud wood is rare, exotic, distinctive. Uh, he speaks about the cardamom, the exotic spices, as well as the oud in there. Uh, but you, the, one of the main factors in this is the amber, and it is a very ambery fragrance. It has that cleanness that you get from amber, but it's it's a soft type of cleanliness that you get from it. It's it's not too you know sweet. It's not too. Uh, it's just it's an amazing scent uh, in perfuming, and. Now we're going into Tobacco Oud. This fragrance is launched in 2013. Uh, so this is, like I said, coming out as a response kind of to the rest of the brands. Every other brand and their mama is coming out with an Oud fragrance, trying to come for Oud Wood. And, you know, at this time it was um, this one that came out. And then after Tobacco Oud came out, I know that Oud Mineral came out. And then Oud uh, Wood 
Goat and Tens uh, came out. So he was, you know, trying to milk the, the Oud machine here. Um, and this one's very, very different. This is spicy. This is earthy. Um, and you get Oud, but it's not the main player. Uh, you know, where Oud Wood was Amber and Oud were the stars of the show with the cardamom. This one is the spices are the star of the show. The patchouli is the star of the show. And it throws some oud in there as well, you know, to add that refinement. So to me, this fragrance is grabbing oud wood and adding more to it. But taking out the amber. There's no amber in here, I don't believe so. So the notes on this one are going to be tobacco, patchouli, oud, and sandalwood. With the sandalwood... You don't get a creamy sandalwood. You get the sandalwood that's in Santal Blush by Tom Ford, which is a very, to me, it's very synthetic, uh, Santal Blush. And that's why I've never really had a love for that fragrance. To me, I like sandalwoods that are creamy and milky and, and his is just rough. It's it's raw, it's rough. It's, you know, it's, it's a raw ingredient in a bottle. That's what Santal Blush smells to me. And that's the sandalwood you get in here. So it's a little rough. It's a little sharp around the edges, but that also makes this fragrance very unique. It smells absolutely gorgeous, um, but it is more of a fragrance that you would have to say is dressed up. The tobacco and the oud and all of the notes in here are more of a refined nighttime fragrance. And they're not so much fragrances that I would say are good for a day-to-day -day use because one, they're very expensive, and two, it's a fragrance that definitely is categorized more as a dressy up fragrance. So that's part of the reason as to that. Which one would I say to go for? Now, Tobacco Oud is discontinued in the private blend line. Uh, it's unsure why, because it, it's one of the most beloved fragrances by the brand, but they are saying that they're bringing it back to the signature collection, just like they did to Amber, or I'm sorry, just like they did to Ombre Leather, and as well as Costa Azur and Bois de Jour, those were all private blends that were brought over into Signature. And this is probably what's going to happen to this guy. So I can see that because it is a very, very Tom Ford scent. It is a scent that kind of reminiscent, it kind of resembles, I should say, uh, the Noir line. But it's not as rough. Noir, uh, it, it depends, you know, the Anthracite Noir was a very great fragrance as well, but it was rough. This is like a, a sophisticated version of that. Does that mean that they will change it to make it smell cheaper? Uh, it's hard to say um, because they do use a lot more synthetic notes when it comes to the signature line. But it could also mean that they make it long lasting because in my experience at least, the fragrances that are in the signature line tend to have a lot better performance than the ones in private blend. And that could be just due to the raw ingredients in the private blend, who knows. So I would say that everyone needs to have oud wood in their collection. Oud wood is just an absolute masterpiece of a fragrance. I think that they really, really, really changed the industry with this fragrance and, you know, really brought what we know today as private lines from fragrances or from fragrance houses and designer houses such as Guerlain and all these other brands, you know, kind of made their own private lines. But not only the private lines were the thing that created, Oud was brought in as a perfume note from the Middle East. And I think that that's absolutely gorgeous because I have worked with a lot of people that are from the Middle East and I've smelled raw Oud on them, you know, the raw oils. And they come in these tiny little vials and these vials are like hundreds of dollars. They're so expensive, but they just smell incredible. And oud is, in these in these two fragrances, I believe are synthetic. They're not real ouds, but they are very close to the real thing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I do appreciate you guys coming to see me. Um, let me know what other videos you are interested in. I do have a couple of other fragrances uh, that are not known very much about, and I was doing some research on them. Uh, and yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Make sure to subscribe and 